Uh, my name is Mjua uh, George Mayumbero. I've been given the task to facilitate the program. I will not fail you. I'll make sure that the program is short, but that the program is very exciting. To be short, I now would like to call upon Bishop Petrus D.K. The house, its builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchmen stand guard in vain. Just only those two verses. Let me read in a chair. Muhana Shahina Kutunga on Joe Mabe Tungu on Munganjo, Mimba Gumabe Tungu. Muhana Shahina Kushevera or Shiburo, Mabe Shevere on Munganjo, Mimba Gumabe Shevere. So that's a scripture this morning that all we going to do if we do not have God that will be in vain. Esteemed invited guests especially from old location Bendu municipality employees I have to acknowledge your presence respected members of the media ladies and gentlemen how are you this morning? Fine, thank you, Your Worship. Thank you very much. <coughs> we are in this area where we have a very important building which exists for as far back as 1907. 1907. The building was located on Letvain Street and a person of the name Count George von Stilfried und Rantonich was the first person to live in the house, that house. After the independence of Namibia, the building was used as a residence for government officials. At this juncture, allow me to welcome the Commander-in-Chief of People's Liberation Army of Namibia, in short plan, I express my thoughtful gratitude to His Excellency Dr. Sam Shafi Hunanoyoma, the founding president and the father of the Namibian nation. Your Excellency, we are happy that you prioritize this event among other equally important events. Dr. Kuru, you always remind us not to forget about the past. I am sure that is why you have decided not to delegate but to come in person to officiate at this historic event. Then one day, Comrade Sam Bioma called us in a big hall. Most of us were ready to go and die and fight for this country. That is what took us there. He spoke as he does always about his country, about how we can liberate it. And then he's, after he has finished, he said that those who now, after I have spoken, want to go and fight the Boers, to take them out of our country. Stand up! All of us, we stood up. We stood up. We just look around, look around, and say, you sit down. You sit down. There he is. You sit down. You sit down. Few of us. Then he said that those whom I said sit down, you are too young, I will send you to school. 
Those who I did not say Sudan, I would send you to military. I was crying when I went out of it because I wanted to go to the later. <laughs> then he sent me to, to school. He said, go Chiriange. Then don't let me down. Oh. I went. By God's what you call it? Race. Race. I came back as a doctor. Mm. Wow. Because of comrades in New York. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Can you see at the handsome gentleman the time he was in Dar es Salaam? But you are still handsome, comrade Chiriange. <laughs> Thank you very much. Not because I wanted to waste time, but some occasion, you are too young for them. You are too small for them. Listen, we heard people knew each other in the old location before Dar es Salaam. Let me add to thanking His Excellency for sending comrade Dr. Gariku to Kenchiriange to go and study. Thank you. Back now at the half front. The Museum Associations of Namibia, National Museum, National Archive, National Heritage Council, UNAM, Namibia Broadcasting Corporation, Meteorological Survey, these are just some of our main partners. Dearest partners, let us continue working together for the creation of a world-class institution. Your Excellency, before I conclude, allow me to say that the Venduk City Museum will introduce us to some of the places, stories. This museum was by its very nature will grant us an opportunity to celebrate the role our forebears played in the most time of times in the liberating our people, the country. This is important for our young generation to see and know that this initiative will contribute immensely to the education of a Namibian child. <laughs> Good afternoon. I am pleased to join you here today on this special occasion of the official inauguration of the Windhoek City Museum reflecting on the life and times in the old location. Allow me therefore to express my thoughtful gratitude to your worship Council of Alcina Kahungu, the mayor of the city of Window, for availing this platform to us to acknowledge and remember the history of our city of Window. In this regard today, we are here to take stock of the streets we have made as a nation to achieve the goals we have set for ourselves with regard to the independence of our country in Namibia. Against this background, I am honored to be part of this important event where the city's aspirations to establish city museum and document their history is being realized. I believe that the City Council intent in creating this museum is for it to preserve the city's rich cultural heritage, which is utmost importance. 
I'm told the City Museum was designed with the aim of sharing the history of Winto in the context of the Namibia's history with the people of Namibia and the visitors alike. Director of ceremonies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm asking to reflect on the life and time in the old location, and I am deeply honored to deliver a keynote address at this important and memorable occasion. Before I proceed further, let me ask you to observe a minute of silence in remembrance of those heroes and heroines who sacrificed their lives for the freedom we enjoy today in Namibia. Please stand up and observe a minute. and greatly honor for the singular privilege bestowed upon me to express on behalf of the city of Benduk our sincere appreciation to all those who made this event colorful and resounding success.